How much longer are they going to hide the budget? Good question, because you see, everything in the budget requires the new exchange rate. The HCL is coming out, which requires the new exchange rate. The ATMs have the lower notes, which require the new exchange rate. Sometimes I should keep my opinions to myself, and this is one of those times. Just look at all the progress made since December 2022, when Iraq announced they were finally entirely out of Chapter 7. Now the spigot is wide open. The final issues preventing the reinstatement are being dealt with one by one. It's already June, and this month is proving to be significant again. My contact in the CBI told me there is a very high probability that we would see the currency swap out this month, so we watch and wait. There is a lot of anticipation for this weekend. Bank redemption contacts say they are on call this weekend and have an hour notification time. They have one hour to go in if called. This information came from two different contacts in two different states who said the same thing. This is very positive. The international finance team is on the television channel saying the economic reform in Iraq is accelerating and they have invested over $2 billion in Iraq. This is the international finance community. They all know what's going on. When they say your economic reform has increased, what they are implying without saying it directly is the float. Just because the central bank is changing monetary policy doesn't mean the exchange rate is going to rise. Only with the success and growth of Iraq's economy can the diner go up in value. We know there's a lot going on behind the scenes. One of our bankers at Wells Fargo said, just hang in there, just hang in there a couple more days. So I'm excited. We'll be able to look back at years of waiting and say it was worth it. Today, Saturday, Representative Ola Ode called on the Central Bank of Iraq to take serious steps and quick measures to limit the continuing crisis of the high exchange rates of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar. Ode said in an interview with the Al Maluma Agency, the exchange rates of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar during the days of Eid al Adha witnessed a significant increase compared to the previous period. She added, The coming period requires a greater effort by the Central Bank of Iraq and the Ministry of Finance to put an end to the phenomenon of high exchange rates of the dollar against the dinar. Since Eid al Adha, the exchange rates of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar have risen until they exceeded 147,000 dinars for every $100 after being below 145,000 diners during the past weeks. The dollar exchange rates are witnessing a significant increase in the Iraqi markets, as the price of $1 during the past months reached more than 152 diners, amid fears that this rise will continue. The American administration continues to obstruct the Iraqi government's reforms by leveraging the economic card through the dollar file. Today, a member of the State of Law Coalition, Saad al-Mutalabi criticized the government's performance in dealing with the largest political files concerning the removal of Americans from Iraq, while confirming that the government is 